You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Zing Toys for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out the next Zing product for you. And thanks to them again for sending this to me to check out on video. It is the Airstorm FireTech Crossbow. Only at Walmart. I see that in the bottom left corner. Now this one includes a scope for supreme accuracy. Three light up arrows with suction cup ends. It says, try me, push, way in here. What is that? Oh, I see. So that lights up. Flies with a Z up to 45 feet. Designed for kids, 8 plus. Now it says night or day, but this says outside fun. So I'm guessing they're not wanting you to shoot this internally in the house. Post your trick shots with hashtag ZingShot. And look and see, that side, not much there. Not much there on that side, the bottom. There is the information for the batteries. Now they are included, and we know now. I learned from the last one. And then let's see the back here. So we have a scope. We have the safety switch, a trigger. Power grip, fire glow, LED, and ammo clip. This is what's included with the scope. Don't just hit the target, storm it. All right. So now we've seen the back, we've seen the front. This looks kind of cool. I mean, if it shot flames like that, I would say, hmm, that's interesting. But we're not going to get flaming darts here. So when I come back, I'll have this cut out of the box, and I will take a look at it, and then we'll eventually head outside. All right, here we go. So these are the three darts. Now I was looking at them. Didn't it say suction cup? This just looks like a foam dart. I'm not sure. Maybe on glass. Uh, but we'll see how that works. Now these have lights so you can turn them all on. Watch this. And of course I'll turn off the lights in just a second but now you can see them all lit up there. Here's our scope. Goes on like this. Just clips on there. I'll let you look through it. So there is your aiming system. Okay, It's not a scope that actually will let you see distance but it gives you a focal point I guess. So now this lights up the side, and here's your trigger. does not work in this condition, but when you squeeze the handle, that naturally lights up, and you see fire tech. And then let's hit the safety. Okay, then you could press. So look at that. The trigger and safety work in unison, so it looks like you have to hit that safety each time. These move. Very stretchy bands in there. There's the bottom, so you have a place to put your hand here. All right, and it looks like this is your storage area. Put one there, put one there, light them up. So now you have the front lights, which looks pretty cool. We'll check that out in the dark in a second. And then let's put this in here. Now, let's see, let me pull it from here. Okay, that's gonna be hard to do. Your hand's gonna hit the aiming system, so this is probably the best way to do it. Pull and lock that in. So once that's in, hopefully now the safety, if I press it, I don't remember which position I'm in. Okay, so safety's on. So now if I hit this and press, it's going to hit the box here. I'll put the box right here. So we're going to hear it and it's going to be loud. So hit the safety and watch it go. Here we go. Okay, that's pretty serious stuff. And why they say this is for outside. So let me do this. It works good. I need to run some tests. Let me turn off the lights. Let's look at it inside without the lights on before we head outside. All right, lights out. Let's press the handle in. Look at that. That's cool. Let me turn this last dart on and reload it in here. So now you can see all three. So look at that. Isn't that a cool looking toy? Now pressing the trigger, it should not go. Let's just check it. Okay, good. So safety is working good. Overall, pretty wicked looking, I would think. There's your sight. Can you see through? Yes, you can. That light lights up on the, the dart. All right, or arrow, whatever you want to call it. Let me take this out in the light. I'm going to have to set this video up later when it gets dark out. But for now, let me just uh, take it outside and see how far they do shoot. Pretty neat. All right, one more time. Let's see how loud this thing is from here. And then I'll be back. Holy cow. All right, a nice brisk day. I am going to test this now. I set up a 
little shooting area for one object. It was an object that I did in a previous video and I was cleaning up and said, hmm, this box would work pretty good and make some noise when I hit it. So I'm outside now ready to do some tests. Let's give it a firing and see how it works. All right, that is the SpongeBob Groom and Go box. I used that for a slime video. It was in the garbage, actually recycling. I thought, hmm, let me grab that. So let's just see from this distance. I'm about uh, 15 feet away, so I'll let you do the aiming here. So now remember, I have to press the safety and now it's ready to fire. Let's aim right at it and shoot. Right in the center, sweet. Let's set that up again. All right, so I am now gonna stand about 25 feet away. So let's get into the target there. And I will step back twice as far as I was to see if I can hit it. And you'll hear my voice now going further and further away. All right, here we go, safety and shoot. Hey, that worked pretty good, let's do it again. All right, so now I'm gonna go say 30, 40, 50 feet. Let's see, I'll just keep walking backwards. Backwards, backwards. Can you still hear me? Can you hear me? This is about 30 feet, 40 feet. So I'm shooting over the top of the camera. Here we go. Safety and shoot. Nice! Far, I would say distance good, uh, accuracy pretty good. I'm gonna move back now at least 75 feet. This might take a few. Backwards. Backwards. Now I'm even farther. Okay, now I would say at least 75 feet away. Here we go. Safety first. Wait, a little bit shorter. Let me do another one. Here we go. I'm gonna change the angle up just a little on that. Here we go. Nice! All right, I'm gonna say that worked pretty good. And I'd say for that distance now, it had to have been at least 50 feet. I did angle up so that it would kind of lob itself in. So you're not gonna get that full force at that distance. So let me do this. Uh, the sun is going down just slightly. So when it's dark enough, I'll come out and I'll check this one out. Look at that, so it's nice and dark out. Now let me turn my darts on. There is dart number one. Let's see if I could find it. There is dart number two. And let's do dart number three. Let's see, ooh, now look at that. That is really cool. Let me tilt it up so I can get a nice shot of it. All right, so let me just shoot the one that's in there now while I'm here and then I'll stop and reset the camera. It looks to be on just a little angle, all right. So here we go. Remember, you gotta hit that safety first. And now it's ready to shoot. Here we go. Nice. Let's do it again. Okay, so now I've changed the angle of trajectory slightly here so you can see if it'll travel further than the last time. Here's what I'll do. I'll probably shoot this one and shoot the other two. I'm right under the camera viewfinder, so here we go. Oh, safety first. Nice. Let me do the other two. It won't take long to load them. It's nice when you load it because you can see when it lights up the section you need to. Oh, where am I at? There I am. Okay, I had to find my spot there. It lights it up so you can see it hook on. And that dart's way out there. You can see it. Let me see if I can launch this one out in that direction. All right, one more. Now you see two little red lights out there. They're very close, so they might look like one. All right. Last one, here we go. Dun, da, 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 da. Fire, oh, safety first. All right, let me go get him. All right, so now I'm just gonna do a side shot, see if I can slow motion this. I'll do all three, hopefully, ooh, I dropped one. One will be seen, here we go. Shot one, I know, safety first. Okay, that bounced back and hit me in the foot, by the way. Hit my garage. Number two. I keep forgetting that safety. That's a nice feature. Definitely won't get a misfire with that. And then here is number three. Let me just see. Okay, here we go. Number three. Nice. 
I have to say, it's pretty cool at night to watch that shoot, and it's easy to find because they're so well lit up. So that is the FireTech Crossbow. Can you see that there? And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it for you. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment and go check out more videos in the playlist in the description area, or you can just search LuckyPennyShop.com. Again, I appreciate you watching and supporting the channel. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.